John, do you want to go over moon? <laughs> yeah, absolutely, Roxy, I do. Or would you rather go underworld? Oh, you, I walked right into that one. You really did. You I set me up perfectly. Roxy, you, you stumped me there. It's Ron Chucksy yeah. here. Back in action. Oh, we, we take them off and then we put them back on? Whatever you want, right? Really. Yeah, that's... Cool people do whatever they want with want their shit. Yeah, well, you know what else cool people do? What? They watch Underworld Evolution. That's right. You know what else cool people do? What do they do? They leave a like Boom. on this video. They subscribe. Boom. They hit the notification. Boom. That's what the coolest of cools do. The cools. You want to know the best part about wearing sunglasses? What is it, Roxanne? That nobody there is going to know when I read the next <laughs> part because I see... <laughs> Still haven't learned it. That's Yo, right. you want to be a super sexy reject? Go over to Patreon. That's where the full length reaction walks to logs are, where you sync up with your own copy. That's just for the sexy ones. True that. The cool, the sexy ones. ones. Ooh, sexy and cool. All in one package? You can't beat it. Over there, Greg and John cover several shows exclusively with reaction highlights and watch alongs included. John, we already watched Underworld 1. We did. And now we're going to have some more fun. Underworld. Under Underworld? Ha <laughs> ha! We're ready for Funderworld, which is also known as Underworld Evolution. I liked the first one a little bit better than you did. You know, revisiting that edit, I uh, it grew on me that much more, though. Eight centuries ago! Unknown to humanity. A blood feud raged. Between a ruling class of vampires and a rebellious legion of werewolves known as Lycans. Legend tells that the war began with two brothers, the immortal sons of Alexander Corvinus, Marcus, bitten by bats, became the blood leader of the vampires, William, bitten by wolves, became the first and most powerful. Lycan. How was fire, bro? Dude, narrating team. Are we the two brothers? For the two brothers. All right, 13th century, let's do this thing. My God, brother, what have you done? It almost looks like Planet of the Apes. It's Tim Burton version. Or Lord, Planet of the Apes, the Lord of the Rings too. <laughs> Way more that. I will not tolerate this any longer, Marcus. Your brother must be stopped. What's the accent? It's just Bill Nighy accent. <laughs> Is he still here? Yes. He must not be harmed. But William must be controlled. This William guy. Give him the torch. Whoa, Ooh. yeah, let's go. Uh-oh. Ooh. Ooh. Oh! That was pretty cool, actually. Yeah, I wonder how they'll build on the transformations and stuff this time. Yeah. Ooh, not bad. A couple years can make a big difference with movies like this, with technology. Ooh, ooh. Blood baths in the snow are always cool visually on screen with all the red and the white. Yeah. Show us the aftermath. Why I wish they would make a f whoa, damn, dude, going hard. Ooh. That's interesting that we just saw the splash on camera as if it was like part of the scene. Yeah, getting that B movie aesthetic. Yeah, get a little grindhouse. Whoa. Give it kind of like a jerky, like almost stop motion quality. It hurt my bones. I will stay and fight. You need my help. I need Let my people go. We die. We all die. Now go. Uh, come on, Marcus. Is that guy from Game of Thrones? No, I think, uh, maybe. <laughs> I think he's the guy who played Van Gogh in Doctor Who. <laughs> and, and, and has been in many other things. Did he have one or two ears at the time? Ooh. This reminds me of like a medieval version of dog soldiers right now. We found him. And we need more men. Find yeah. Amelia. Bedelia. <laughs> Amelia Bedelia? She back. She got murked last time, right? Amelia. We found William. That's Amelia? Yeah, wasn't she the one in the crazy dress who was like arriving and then she got killed? Yeah, we were waiting for her and she got killed on the train, right? Yeah. 
Will I am. Drop the beat now. Mm. Oh! oh, oh. Why leave him be? They're supposed to keep him alive. Ah, whoa! Jeez! He was not to be harmed. This is Broski. Place him in my charge as we agreed, or you will pay for your deceit. Oh. It will be done my way. You know well the consequences if you murder me. What is thy will? Imprisonment for all time. For all time, always. People only have empathy when it hits close to home. It's like you had no problem wiping out everybody else but his brother. I was a loyal soldier of the vampire clan. Right where we left you. Right where we but found I was betrayed. her. Last time on Underworld. Craven's lust for power and domination had failed. Always do. <sighs> Victor was not the savior I had been led to believe. What do you think of this kind of flashback shot? Like, what do you call this? No, just the the way that they're showing it, the like slow blur. Yeah, this like filter they have over everything. It's kind of dreamy lens effect. I have but one ally left, Michael. Your boy! The human descendant of Corvinus. Scott Speedman. Neither vampire nor lichen, but a hybrid. It's McLichen. It's only a matter of time before we're found. Yeah, it's like they put a motion zoom effect on it. Totally. It's kind of weird. Last time I told you he did so much good for Alzheimer's research, you said, really? I said, it was character. Yeah. <laughs> now. I thought Scott Speedman was out here helping he out. He might be out in these streets doing good. <laughs> he might be. Hope now is to awaken Marcus, our last remaining elder, and expose the truth. But we just saw Marcus. Before Craven tries to murder him about while that he's still in hibernation. Could he be waking up? Craven knows he's no match for him awake. <laughs> but asleep, let me tell you, I'll take him. <laughs> I like how much lore they put in just that beginning part. They're like, we're going to jam this in now. You have this information. Now we can move forward. Let's go. I hope we get more of that. Like, it's cool to see them, like, way back when and, like, Very armor cool. and all that stuff. You know, like, the futuristic cyberpunk stuff is also cool, but, you know. Yeah, I like it. The medieval. Yeah. We just let the rain fall down and wake an atmosphere. Dreams. Yeah. It's like a nineties music video. Whoa! This thing's been dead for weeks. The lichens went back to their human form when they died. They do. This one's been given a serum to stop regression so it can be studied. How can you tell? It says so on this paper. It's only about an hour until daylight. Can you even make it back to the mansion before sunrise? Just. Let's get what we need and go. No, I'm going alone. No. Dude, she's making the same mistakes as last time. Takes Learned her lesson, Come girly. On. Open it. M for Marcus. M for my man. <laughs> Is this Aquaman once we get down there? That's right. Yeah, Jason Momoa is going to be down there just like Johnny Depp. He's like, what? He <laughs> can all kinds of inappropriate jokes. I just like this world. Yeah. This underworld. Ah, ha, ha, ha. Got some good underworld building. Oh, he already out. He's waiting. Whoa. Whoa. Nice. Woo. Ooh, yeah. Whoa, this is gnarly. Whoa. Cool POV. Yeah. Oh. Not Craven. The blood memories of this wretched creature have shown me that your treachery knows no bounds. I can explain. Can you? Why would I listen to your lies? Get him, Marcus. When the journey to the truth. But your brother, man, is in your is death. So much sweeter. Oh. <laughs> oh, nice. He'll go before Victor and tell him exactly what I tell you to. Just concentrate on your part. <laughs> Blood memories, smart expositional recap. 
I can assist you. Well, you already have. Oh! Well, I thought he was going to be in this movie. It's been a while since I've seen like an 80s dispatch of a central character from the previous movie. Look, go. I'll be here. You just make sure you come back. They are so white. Yes. <laughs> Contrast is so high. The innocent who witnessed may have been silent, oh, but yeah. otherwise unharmed as ordered. I cared about them being unharmed. That's nice. Two death dealers were killed. We found no lichen bodies. They were using a new kind of ammunition, some sort of UV round. Amelia? Hey. Delia. Those UV rounds, boy. It seems Craven's men might have been present, but they did nothing to prevent it. And Victor? Hmm. And no trace of Marcus amongst the ashes. It seems he destroyed his own coven, sir. Never his coven. Wow. Oh. Cool look. I bet they use olive oil for the slime. Just make him look all greased. I've decided I'm a lichen now. I, I took it back. First time I chose vampire and I chose poorly. Yeah, something's up. What are you, a doctor? Whoa. Whoa. Wowie. That had to have been installed, no? Right. It's an arc reactor. Maybe that's why he said, you know, the consequences if you kill us or something. There's something to it. Yeah, it's going to have something to do with that. Have you been awake recently enough to understand yeah, this yeah. machine? <laughs> He figured out when he sucked the blood, it came to him. Technology. Keyboard. Oh, there you go. Absorbed all those memories of typing. <laughs> <laughs> all that data entry yep. <laughs> that Craven was doing. Do not drink one of their blood. How do you be able to fly? Marcus? All of them that he, can. He's ancient, man. I don't know. He's they good. grow wings over time? From the git. But some of them don't. Yeah, I wonder what the rules are. Yeah. How you get your wings? Yeah. It's not filling him. Do you at least get the taste? I would do what he's doing, though. I wouldn't just accept somebody telling me I had to eat blood or I wouldn't get full. I would try. Yeah, no, totally. <laughs> Question is, is it just gonna be the food or is it gonna be like a geyser of blood? <laughs> Whoa. What is it? He can't process it? Uh oh. I would get away from him, bro. Cops are stupid everywhere? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> get away from him. They're none the wiser to the world that lurks underneath. Damn you, man. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. Oh. At least he still got his reflection. Is that a vamp thing? Hey, I don't, I don't think in this universe, but, you know, in classic lore. Oh, that looked painful. Let him go. Yeah, I was going to say, <laughs> you're cutting it close to daylight. Do you think he can be in the daylight? That's a good question. Ooh, yeesh. We about to find out. Oh, yeah. See, she has no wings, but she's got flyness. I feel like wings at least come with, like, being ancient. Oh. Yeah, nice. Oh. Nicely done. Take it. No. Michael, you'll die. Maybe I want to die. So you can just drink other vampires' blood if you need? I guess in this world you can. Oh, wow. Well, it feels good for her probably. Okay, that face. This is wild. We're watching the most with no... This is how vamps do it, yeah. 
I know what you've done, Selene. Victor deserved his fate, and Craven was no better. Craven has already reaped the rewards of his own misdeeds. Victor deserved his fate. Victor was a dictator. Why are you guys so anti-dictators? Imagine if America was a dictatorship. What do you suppose Victor had to hide? Perhaps it is you, Selene. Oh. Nah, dude. Yes! <laughs> are you dumb? Uh, it's got to protect his bay. <laughs> Whoa. Oh. <laughs> Whatever you want, lady. Can he fly as fast? Yeah. Okay. Oh. Oh, oh. Yeah. Them hops. Kind of looks like Avatar. <laughs> Ooh. Dang. Uh. Dead or alive, you're coming with me. Marcus, I feel like you'd be on her p same side. She's waking up to the treachery and deceit and all that. Is she going to turn and go be close to William? Maybe. Maybe she likes the wolves. Yeah, maybe. Maybe they have a baby. Oh! <laughs> Aww. Wings having trouble. They wanted this. I don't know. Did you realize that? No. So what was that little thing that he wanted? A little pendant. Keep your foot on the gas and stay down. Get down. <laughs> Jeez. I can't even get a guy to like bring me tea. I'm just gonna splash, splash black paint all over all the windows. <laughs> Luckily, this place is filled with cans of black paint. <laughs> I like that it's working. It's like... Be right back. Oh, no. You see those in movies. I've never seen one in real life, though. What? First aid kit on the bathroom wall. Yeah. <laughs> see? No need. But I appreciate the thought. She's like, I know more than you do still. I think he's nervous. I would be too. She's a smoke, bro. Yup. Yeah! Yep. Yeah! Let's get that romance. Love her, love shiver ships. <laughs> Still a better love story than Twilight. I'm so happy right now. Yeah. I've been wanting this for so long. Mm -hmm. All movie one. And the first 40 minutes of this movie. <laughs> <laughs> you can just check out from here on. Wowie! Wow, they're really... Dang, dog! Wow, okay. They're making it happen. What is this movie rated? <laughs> I don't know, but the placement is like perfect. So they really... That could go on somebody's wall. Yeah, every frame of painting. Oh. Heal yourself. His design is very sinister. Very insecure, sir. <sighs> blow it up, blow it up. Watch it all fall out. With my handy tap light bomb. <laughs> I was like, oh, is it not going to explode? Yeah, like, who are they trying to gas right yeah. now? <laughs> Yup. Ugh. I've seen this before when I was a child. When it was open like this. How's that possible? But I know someone that might. Classic movie Andreas line. Andreas Tannis. Yeah. He's the official historian of the Covens. Tannis. Drink your Tannis root. He was exiled over 300 years ago. What makes you think we're going to find him now? I was the one who exiled him. <laughs> I was going to say, do you know how old everyone around you is? Because you're like the youngest person by you're a mile. You're a baby. <laughs> 
Honestly, she's cradle robbing. Oh. Looks like a monastery. It used to be. More like a prison now. Tennis has been hiding there since Victor's order. A prisonastery. Good one, bro. <laughs> Thanks, dog. <laughs> No, I can for count real. on you for support. For real. Soup's brill. I don't remember this gate being here before. Do you have memories from 300 years ago that are that clear? I don't think this gate was here the one time 300 years ago I stopped by. I remember all my gates, you know. Wowie! Okay, so boobies. This but, is an R-rated movie. But not Kate's boobies. Well, yeah. Because she's too famous. That's right, man. <laughs> Go back. Oh, I was gonna say, is there a trap door? <laughs> Damn. Whoa, my guy. Sam. So he was exiled, but he has a, and he's a vampire, but he has a wolf with him. The story of the hybrids and the intermingling between the vamps and the lichens is clearly more dubious than we first thought. Whoa! He's got that same mask as the one that was tied up. Ah! Whoa! It's your guard dogs. <laughs> that was sweet. She's dope. Yeah. Whoa! You think they brush their wolf teeth? Oh, they must. <laughs> Gotta keep them clean, you know, or at least they get those dog bones that clean the teeth, yeah, you know? Yeah. <laughs> Some. You said, do they? What? That's what I was thinking about. Look at his teeth. They look a little yellow. Ooh, boy. Oh, yeah. They don't know they're going up against a hybrid, bro. Oh. Jeez. Wow. That it's was like, quick. I like that they had time to put clothes on, but not all the clothes. <laughs> yeah. You don't scare me, Celine. Well, we're going to have to work on that. Ooh. <laughs> Boom. That is a vampire of lichen bodyguards. A gift from a most persuasive client. Lucian. <laughs> Why would Lucian want to protect you? Because he was trading with them. Oh. <gasps> Oh, snap. How long have you been in the business of killing your own kind? I've done what's necessary to survive. My decision was made easy the day your precious Victor betrayed me. Hey, your own kind, bro. Victor's dead. I killed him. <laughs> no, I think not. Oh, unless you've learned the truth. <laughs> Careful with that, dear. Makes a terrible bang. Open the blades and they're active. Good to know. Mm, that'll come back later. Marcus was after this. Why? It's uh, when he appendants. <laughs> Whoa! He knows how to make an entrance. Yeah, jeez. Victor was not the first of our kind, as you were led to believe. He was once human, the ruler of these lands. Oh, damn. He's the one. The source. The first true vampire. Oh. Marcus came. A reprieve. Refuse. From sickness and death. And in return, Victor was to use his army turned immortal to help him to defeat the very first werewolves created by Marcus's own flesh and blood. Mm. His twin brother, William. They at least are evolved, never able to take human form again. And William's appetite for destruction and rampage was insatiable. Cheapers. And so once Victor's army was turned, the legions of vampires under his control tracked down and destroyed the animals, then captured William, Victor's prisoner, for all time. Always. William's death would mean the end for all lichens, his slaves. Yes, a clever deception. They did that in the originals, which came after this. It's William's prison, the prison your father was commissioned to build. Oh, no. So you've been the one keeping a watch over this for me, have you? I've been searching everywhere for this, my darling. Oh, my God. The only one still living who has seen its location. But Marcus knows that the memory, and therefore the exact location of William's prison is in your blood. Is hidden away in your blood. Why is Marcus looking for him now? That I cannot answer. He just wants to see his bro again. But I do know someone who could stop him. Perhaps I could arrange a meeting. <laughs> yes. In exchange for your 
discretion. Just let me stay exiled. Who's the meeting with, bro? It's with Blade. I was thinking that. Crossover, finally. Apparently they wanted to do a crossover and it didn't happen. Uh, yeah, that's gonna help. Oh, my dude. Ninta struck two keys. What do you know of them? I don't know of any keys. Bad liar. Oh, yeah. One was kept in plain sight, draped around his daughter's neck. And the other? Kept with Victor at all times. Where? Within him. <laughs> Up his butt. Beneath the flap. Yes. No. 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 Go to Pier 17. Ask for Lorenz Macaro. No. Lorenz has one of them. The other one. Because he took it from Victor's inside. But who is Lorenz? Yeah. Why is he of skin in this game? What's tough for our boy Tannis just now is he can't kill Marcus because then everybody, he dies. Yeah. So you're like defenseless, right? Yeah. <laughs> you're familiar with this then? Intimately. <laughs> Up your behind? How intimately? <laughs> You're Alexander Corvinus. Oh. Oh, shit. I knew it had to be some kind of alias. Centuries I've stood by and watched the havoc my sons have wrought upon each other and upon humanity. So he's the dad of William and Marcus? You are asking me to help you kill my son. How many innocents did you kill in the 6th century quest to avenge your family? You are no different from Marcus and even less noble than William. Boom. Hundreds of thousands have died because of your inability to accept that your sons are monsters. You know the devastation William caused before he was captured. He cannot be set free. But what is he? He's immortal? Uh, at least. I mean, if... If vamps and wolves both stem from him? I don't, I don't know. Maybe he's just pure evil. Uh, whoa! Way to hook him. Yeah. <laughs> Ow. No, wait. No, no match for him. Ah, uh -huh. ah. She's like, watch me, boo. Yeah. Oh, ow. A little uh. painful. Soon, brother. Oh, ho, ho. Ooh, that swing. Nice. Yeah. Ooh, no. <laughs> yeah, that's gonna help. Ooh. Oh no, damn it. Ugh. No, no, no. They've gone. They're there, my child. You are safe now. Aw, Craven. Oh. This guy's looking at everybody's personal business. Whoa, right in the mouth. In the kisser. She's gonna pull it up and through. I feel like pull him up. Oh. Oh. Ooh. <laughs> you think he's gonna make it? Yes or no? Three. Two. Yes, he's gonna make it. He's gonna make it. No, I changed my mind. They're definitely gonna kill him right here. No, no. Oh, huh. She finally found someone that she chose. Don't worry. There'll be something. Some magical thing. Maybe her tears will bring him back. True love's kiss. Man. True love's kiss. True love's kiss. Whoa. Oh, 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 wow. You are unwelcome in my presence. This is a world for humanity. And that petty sentiment explains why you stood by for over half a millennium as William suffered alone in darkness. I have no respect for your petty sentiment. I get it. Yeah, where's your humanity, Dad? If it was my brother? Soon you'll be drowning in lichens, just like before. Or not lichens, Father. A new race. Created in the image of their maker, their new god, me. <laughs> Ugh. Man, you made it so far. 
Don't kill your dad. Oh, he gonna. And the true God has no father. <laughs> oh, damn it. I guess you're not immortal, my dude. In his pocket? As a dad, you gotta kind of feel proud that your kids love each other that much, right? Especially after you neglected them. <laughs> I'm not sensing that emotion, but... Oh, my dude. Get the kit! No! He wants to die. Find the girl. Bring her to me. Before I pass out and die, jeez. If you want Marcus, you'll need Alexander's help. Don't leave him here. Devastating. We didn't even get to see one more kiss. It's okay. It's not okay. He might get better. You never know. Did he get the pendant? Yes. He's too powerful for you alone. Excellent pep talk. You are the last hope left. Sure. There is only one way to defeat him. With his blood. Oh, boy. What will I become? Yeah. That's what I was wondering, bro. Hmm. The future. Okay, that's not really a clear answer. Oh, snap. You will be a god. She was like, that's an acceptable answer. What? Like, <laughs> does she see from him? Oh, yeah. Centuries of pain and agony. Oh, he's him himself? I guess so. He doesn't want to see what becomes of the world without his sons or with his sons. Yeah, he's lived enough. Oh, ho, ho, ho. damn. That feels like an unnecessary thing to do to your surroundings. Now everybody's going to have to deal with that. And he's probably got all sorts of secrets and stuff hidden on that ship. He's got to obliterate all of it. Some show like Game of Thrones, Penny Dreadful, or something. I don't know. Tony Curran, is that his name? Boop. So William can't turn back into man, right? At this phase that they stay beast. Yeah. At least as far as they've told us. Just full wolf all the time. Nice. Very spooky. I don't see a way inside. There used to be a river entrance just there. It must be submerged now. Looks like we're getting wet. Yeah. That's what she said. Celine. Aw. Thanks, bud. Oh, damn. What? I mean. He said, looks like we're getting wet. That was pretty sweet. Can vampires not just breathe underwater? I mean, she didn't take the mask, so maybe. I don't know. What are the rules of breathing <laughs> in this universe? This is what you guys all talk to me about at home. I have so many questions you couldn't possibly know the answer to. <laughs> just want your thoughts, man. Oh. I'm so effing stoked right now. What? Like, Sounds is he going to or... He's reading a book inside. <laughs> Chilling. He's got little bifocals on. What if he's not in there? There's a fireplace teacup. William. Bro. Nah, it's me, bro. My bad for taking so long. I'm a little late. She was breathing just there, so... I guess you can just hold her breath for a really long time. Whoa. That is a cool-looking wolf. Damn. I'd no sooner harm you than myself. Oh, it's sweet. It's giving brotherly love. Yeah. I get it, my dude. I wouldn't let my brother just be... You know, it's not his fault. Yeah. It's the way he's it. he is. Can't control it. What is that? Nothing. Let's go. Likely story. You should take pride in your artwork, okay? We're too late. Woof! Ah, damn it. Whoa, damn. Ooh. He's like, why are you so strong? Yeah. Ah. <laughs> damn. 
left. Whoa, no. Damn it. Come on, Hulk out, boy. Whoa. Decent CG. I think so, too, for 2006. Michael, you're unique. Yeah. There's never been a hybrid before. But then I thought Homeboy's a hybrid. Oh. You're Bradley Cooper and Limitless. Let's do this. Where is he? He went right through there. Oh, I thought that he was going to get a line. I know. He didn't get a sad card on this, man. Give him a speaking role. Yeah. One line. Set designs are really cool. Yeah, I was just thinking that, man. I wonder what it looked like on actual set. Damn. Still no line. Th thanks. <laughs> you are not allowed to make a sound. You all right? Answer him. Oh, oh no. <laughs> oh, no. No. Oh, Big Willie. Damn, that is a cool looking wolf. Ooh, nice. Ah, yeah. What Get was that this? cool cool reload. Oh, that's how she did it. Yeah. Yeah, I kind of feel bad for him though. He's like, I can't get out of this cage. Y'all came to attack me. I haven't even done anything yet. I might have changed in the last, I don't know, thousands of years. Yeah. No, he did kill a lot of them, though. This reminds me of a Devil May Cry game a little bit. Whoa! Woohoo! She's destroying what her dad built. I mean, I'm still on her team, obviously, but. <laughs> I'm not. You can't deface architecture in my presence. With the snowfall, too. <laughs> Oh no. Well, these weren't the like of now. Well, these were raging yeah, monsters. I was unable say. to take human form ever again. Yeah, this ain't gonna go well. But why was he able to take human form? Well, no, but he's turning. Oh, now, now they're yeah. turning. Yeah, yeah, they're yeah. They're turning because they, yeah, just got slashed up. <laughs> no. Yeah. Ow. Wow. That looks sick, man. I really think that looked sick. Yeah, that's pretty legit. Hey, as ya boy. <laughs> oh, yeah, just reach your hand on through. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, jeez. <laughs> oh, my God. Can they kiss first? Michael. Thank goodness. Oh, oh, you interrupted, bro. Oh, it's not that heavy. Quit exaggerating. It's in water, bro. <laughs> yeah. Is that help from up there? Oh, hey there. Oh, he's going to pull them down. Whoa, no. No. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, I'd move. Say, um, wow. Yo, Kate Beckinsale is a true action star. Sure. With a great stunt woman. <laughs> I wonder how much of the stunts she threw down on <laughs> Demo oh. him, bro. Oh, oh, shit. We don't need a haircut today. <sighs> Your hair looks bomb. Oh, damn. Ow. Indiana Jones him. <sighs> Got hops. Up. This would be a gross ass death. Oh. Whoa. <laughs> Theoretically, that would grow back, right? 
Oh. Oh. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Oh no. I knew Victor made a mistake by keeping you as a pet. He should have killed you with the rest of your family. You're too much of a threat. Ugh. Whoa. <laughs> nice. Nice. <laughs> oh, man. And they lived in peace, happily ever after. Oh, oh no. She can oh, walk she, in yeah. the daylight now. She avenged her family's death. <laughs> Took care of the world. She can be in the sun. Maybe get a tan. She <laughs> needs it. <laughs> oh, she's so happy. Oh, I'm so happy for her. Dude. And for them. Oh. Oh. oh as she's crying. Oh my God. Yeah, to get that, to get that one tear at the right time. And also do a kiss. Like. Wait, I'm stoked, bro. You could end the franchise here and I'd be stoked. I'm stoked that it doesn't end here, but that <laughs> was perfect. Oh no. Don't take don't take this from me, mu eerie music. Yeah. Are we gonna pull out from a, a snow globe? The lines that have divided the clans have now been blurred. Chaos and infighting are inevitable. Oh, do they all die because they killed them? Darkness is still ahead, but for now, I look into the light with new hope. Yeah, you do. Because theoretically, aren't they all supposed to die if the originator of their bloodline dies? But maybe that was just a rumor. Danny McBride. It's that Danny McBride, Roxy. It's not. It's the John, one don't get from all trouble. the movies. Wait, can you acknowledge what I'm saying right yes, now, though? Yes, 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 yes. I think... If I remember correctly, that scene, they just it was it established that, that, yeah, like it was, they wouldn't take the risk in case it was true, but it might not have been true, I guess. Or is it not true because she's the original immortal now because she took the blood of Homeboy and as long as she's around, now is she the originator and now she can't die? That's a good question. Maybe in the next couple of installments they Yo, will. let's go sequel. <laughs> okay. All right. Underworld Revolution Underworld Evolution. Evolution. Yes. I said revolution. It was that too. Yes. Evolution, huh? So they evolved. Yeah. In what way? Uh well, you know, she evolved cuz she got that originator blood uh and you know, Scott Speedman's already been evolved. Okay, so we knew it was Kate. We know it's Scott. Is it Tony Curran? We know it's Underworld Evolution. We do. Yeah. <laughs> that would be a good pull. Hey, it is him. Ron Joxy. Ron Joxy pulling it together. That was really just the John part of Ron Joxy. It's okay, we both recognized him. Yeah, okay. that we was really, really good. I want to see what he's from. Face. Uh, wow, okay. Yeah. And hit us with those tunes. So initial first, like, right after watching the second one, liking it equal level, a little less, a little more. How are you feeling? Um, That's a great question. I almost, I'm almost curious more to hear yours. I mean, I feel like these movies are sort of different in that the first movie takes a bit more space to breathe and a bit more space to be... Uh, 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 I don't know even what the word is. There's just more kind of like direct scene work in the first one. Like it breathes between the action, whereas this one is much more sort of like we hit the ground running and the action is mounting and mounting and mounting until the end. And it's also like a bit of a shorter movie. So in some ways, like I kind of enjoyed them both equally mm -hmm. for slightly different reasons. But like uh, it's it's pretty close. It's pretty close. I think, I don't know how people generally feel about this one versus the first one. I know people seem to love Rise of the Lycans. Um, That's the third one, which we will get to if you guys like, comment, sub, and give us love. Anyway. It actually, only because Prime is trying to make us watch Underworld Awakening right now, I wonder if it's not the third one, but oh. it, it's, it's a prequel, I guess, and it's, yeah, it's the one everybody seems to really love. But it's not the third. I'm not sure. I Like, it's, again, it's just because... Prime is telling us to watch something different now. Bless. Um, but I enjoyed this immensely. What did you think? I thought that it had a lot 
um, riding on it because I loved the first one. Yeah. And then going into this, I was like, okay, so I know I love these characters. So are they going to be able to perform the same kind of way? And I think that they did made some really smart choices yeah. with the story that I was thoroughly invested in. Like they already had me with the characters so they could kind of have a little more fun with the story and do that. You know, I love asking questions. There was a lot of things they didn't answer until halfway through three yeah. quarters of the way through, you know, like the, it didn't spoon feed its audience. Like, Oh, we want to give you all the information at top. Yeah. And I loved that. And I love that. I still, I'm curious, like, Oh, okay. All this stuff is kind of lore to them as well. They're like, Oh, do we die if the bloodlines die? How did that come to be? Or like even Victor saying that he's the, not Victor, um, uh, the one that's, oh, Victor, yeah. So it was he the one who said he was the original one? And then it ended up being Marcus? He creates that deception. Yes, yeah. creates that. So that's not real. And that happens in life. Sometimes people lie. Yeah. But that wasn't the truth. And in the first one, we thought that was the truth. And this one, we find out that it's not the truth and mm. that it was Marcus. And then, yeah, even like we we meet the Marcus and um, and uh, William's dad and like they don't tell us immediately who is this dude? Why is he invested? So I just, I loved the pacing of this. I think that it all came in due time and it, there was some really st smart stuff. But overall, I think I probably liked the first one better because I just was s more surprised than yeah. anything that how good the movie was. Yeah, and there's a bit more meat on some of those bones, partly because they do have to set up stuff, not just modify stuff. Because, um, yeah, like, I, I think maybe pound for pound, I probably would prefer the first movie slightly just because, yeah, it's a bit more rounded because um, this one's very immediate. Although they, they it, this definitely felt like just an immediate continuation from that first movie, just like, oh, this is just the story continuing rather than like, oh, here's a redefinition of some kind for part two. You know, they like they feel very akin to one another. They feel naturally one into the next. Um, so in that way, I'm not sitting here like with, yeah, one feeling distinctly, you know, vividly one way versus the other. But yeah, it's like this one is moving a lot more quickly. It's got a bigger, I think, effects budget to some degree or just effects have advanced a little bit for sure um, with, with wolfie gate i mean there's just yeah. so many of them yeah Definitely. they did a lot more transformations here yeah, which i loved and then also as you know lover of love i'm a shipper uh, of ships in the first one i wanted them to get it on like donkey kong yes. so in this one they really came through for me yeah like i every time that i was desperate to see them kiss or whatever they did and and then some i mean i was kind of surprised with how how really hot this got it that got steamy man i forgot that this was rated r this must be rated r like and vampire stuff should i'm yeah, sorry yeah. i i know that some people they don't watch these movies for that but for me if you're gonna give me a vamp franchise and you're not gonna really give me that vamp i don't want it like sure and you got two gorgeous human beings ah. they have more than two there's uh, so many cuties in this but like to watch <laughs> them connect and then that moment at the end that su the sunlight moment really did it for me yeah imagine that feeling for hundreds of years yeah you have not been able to see the sun yeah i love the sun man that yeah. affected me and that moment kind of catches you off guard too because it's like you've been conditioned to be like, oh shit, no sunlight. But then, yeah, they they catch you with that whole like, oh, you know. And yeah, it's it's just such a small thing. And and I think that was a nice you know choice to have it just be like, oh, we're just kind of contemplating her hand in the light, and even the color temperature is warmer on her skin. Her face looks more, uh, you know, there's there's more of that yellow kind of sunlighty tone. Yeah. As opposed to all like the stark no. blue white light that they have so much of the movie. And I thought that was like a nice film choice but also a nice story choice yeah let's be more on that the story choices some of it felt a little huh. easy or cop-outy like the fact that she could just drink the dad's blood 
<laughs> and Drink, beat them. Drinking the blood to get all the info. Oh, oh, well, yeah. Yeah, but I she, mean, like, you would just think if he knew this whole time that somebody drinking his blood would get, like, so he's just never let anybody drink his blood. Like, and, and her drinking his blood all of a sudden means that she can be a day walker. She can beat his son. She gets all his powers. Like, I don't think we've seen that in the past where if you drink somebody's blood, because then if you could do that, she should just drink Scott Speedman's blood, you know, like. Well, it's because, yeah, it's because. He's, Corvinus's blood is special, and he's the original. You but know, has nobody project. ever drank his blood ever before? That's certainly what it reads like, yeah. Because, yeah. I mean, I'm sure he, with given the attitude he seems to have towards you his, know, kids. his kids and their lineage and the infighting between the lineage and all that stuff, it doesn't seem like he would be anxious to give this power to many people or to perpetuate this cycle. Um, and so, yeah, it makes sense in that moment of like, okay, well, here's your kind of last ditch it's like somebody's got to, you know, at least finish this fight. And uh, and it seems like you are at least becoming hip enough to the truth of the matter and wanting to put an end to all of this that, you know, I guess it could be you. It is a little bit like she just takes a swig and then she's like, got all the abilities. I thought yeah. you would have to like drain my dude or something like that. But, you know, like it's fine. It's I'm works. willing to forget. Like it's it's that stuff. And, and like revisiting. Because, yeah, I think you were, you were, I, I really enjoyed the first one. I think you were more chuffed in the moment. And then rewatching it for, you know, to prep the video, I was like, oh, this is actually like, this has grown that much more on me. And I think it's because there is like a B movie, there is like a, a kind of exploitation y kind of quality. And there's almost like a soap operatic thread in there as well along with your like matrix pvc leather stuff and your you know vampire uh you know societies and your werewolf maulings and stuff like that um and so yeah i thought this one certainly uh uh had a good amount of that kind of you know yeah b movie quality especially with developments like that but not always like i don't know b b movie is an interesting thing to liken something to because uh, I like him uh, because sometimes it's an, uh, not a compliment yeah. and sometimes it is and I feel like this movie uh, I appreciate its B-movie aspects they often can yes alleviate my urge to nitpick certain things and I did appreciate that at least with this they really were committed to like keeping that kind of world building going I thought meeting the guy the exiled guy who's now just kind of living his man cave life, you know, out in this uh, Tannis. Tannis. I thought like that was cool. And, and yeah, getting this, you get that brief prologue where, um, you know, they're all in their, yeah, whatever that is. It's like the 1200. They're all in their like armor and, and you know, you get that. Go AD, bro. Yeah. Yeah. So you get that like early piece of the conflict and, and something to ground it in this like ancient timelessness, um, and then, yeah, once you get back to the present, like not much is really made out of Scott Speedman. <laughs> like I, I, part of me was expecting in this movie that they might like add to his design or, or redesign him or something. So I kind of confused early on in that one scene where Marcus is watching all the videos. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, but yeah, I feel like, you know, he is kind of the least, their relationship is served in the movie, but like his involvement as a character doesn't do a heck of a lot except for until the end when he's able to you know rip uh william's head apart if the <laughs> thing through his stomach didn't kill him too i'm curious like to what extent he is i'm curious what the hybrid situation yeah. is and what it implies i mean I, my guess is that uh I'm, uh, yeah, I'm sitting here going, do you get some aspects of each and and not so others? Full, yeah. Or are you fully both? Or because he can be out in the sun and stuff like that. I assume he's got healing powers, although I don't know why it took him so long as compared to Celine. And it does certainly seem like uh, there are things where I have questions about like, well, when can you heal versus when can you not? not like, is yeah, it, yeah. Is, Do you have to be dismembered to a certain extent? And I would think yeah. he would have been in a weakened state when he comes back down, but he's not in a weakened state. We haven't seen him have any blood, so I don't know. I want to look up that dude and see what else he's been in. You said Doctor Who. Yeah, he was in a great Doctor Who episode where he plays Vincent Van Gogh. Um, but yeah, I mean, he's he's done tons and tons of I work. I definitely, definitely recognize him from something specifically that's not coming to me right now. Oh, he's in Ray Donovan for. Oh, he's been in everything. <laughs> oh yeah, he's in he's Secret been... Invasion. He was in Your uh... Honor. He's in The Flash. He's in For All Mankind. Wow. He, 
Oh, Homeboy yeah. works. Seven episodes of Ray Donovan. Oh, boy. Well, and if you're going to swap, you know, you do a switcheroo for Bill Nighy in this movie, and I thought he was a solid choice because he's got a similar kind of profile. He's a bit younger, but he does have uh, more, and especially at the time, you know, he, he feels like a sensible kind of stature of actor to put in as that type of presence if we're not going to have Bill Nighy. Especially because he was very good. Yeah. Oh, he's no, a great actor. Yeah, he's, he's just terrific. very good. He, he's, yeah, he's always a great performer. Easily this movie could be more cheesy, and it's not really sometimes. I think that's the magic, because there is cheese and there is yeah. B-movie quality to it. But it walks a thin line. And it takes itself quite seriously, and I think that can be the peril sometimes when you're taking yourself real seriously. But this manages to do it in a way that never creates a dissonance for me. I'm never sitting here watching this going. Sometimes that seriousness can cross over and it'll start to feel like kids making a student film they think is like so completely this matters. Great. Yeah. And, and impactful says, when really it's. Yeah. It's a suspense, fantasy, eerie, exciting. <laughs> I like the last one. Category, exciting. It's pretty exciting. I would say this movie was effing exciting. It was. I would say Eerie is probably the, the least engaged of all these, uh, you know, descriptors. Because, like, they have they have cool and creepy design work and stuff like that. But they're not really trying to, like, spook you that much. Yeah, but, but they are trying to excite you. And that worked for me. Yeah. Any other major thoughts on Underworld Evolution? Goodness gracious. I don't think so. I mean, you know, solid action, great production designs and stuff like that. I loved the use of snow. I always wish they would make a Friday the 13th in the snow. Don't tell um, them that. You could write it. Oh, hey, that's, that's, your yeah, that's idea. what I'm doing. That's what you I'm just doing. gave away the gold for free. I'll cut it out of the video. Any, and we uh, can write it together. Yeah, good point. Any other underworld things you want to see for sure in the future that we haven't gotten in the first two? Uh, I just want another opportunity to see Michael Sheen again. That's the one thing is, is I was really sad. There wasn't really a way to finagle him into this, you know, um, obviously cause he did. And I was like, oh, I thought they were going to find a way. Like I would forgive them for bringing him back <laughs> if they wanted yeah, to. Um, and if they do a prequel, I have faith that he might, you know, be involved with that. Um, but yeah, like I, I generally I have faith. Me too. Yeah. It's like this one also has like a more narrow cast too. I feel like whereas the first one feels like very big and broad and they do a lot of reminding you of the first one in this one. But yeah, I thought this moved. It, it, it was, you know, punchy of pace, kept momentum going. Uh, I liked, yeah, the expansions on both the lore of the world as well as the expansion on Celine's journey as this person sort of learning that her whole life is based on these systems uh, built on deceit and trying, Lies. To, trying to, you know, get hip and, and wake up to those things and, and carve out a new path. And at least, yeah, from stepping stone one to stepping stone two, this has been a cool journey. I would love to see a more intense soundtrack. I think their scoring is great, but like a theme song, bro. Yeah. Like something that really punches. Cause this, it's got such a, um, identity to it, this movie. Yeah. And if we had some, like, I don't know, man, I'm really feeling nine inch nails, Nirvana, sure. like bring the heat. Get what? Well, yeah. Get yourself like, uh, that first matrix had a soundtrack where it was just like, industrial and and kind of metal-esque music and it was like needle drops on needle drops but that also felt like parts of the score along with the score yeah i like a needle drop i know some people don't but that does work for me typically it depends i'd be curious to see it here i don't i don't find myself missing that so much but um i remember you know other movies like this have that and it's easy to imagine it having that so yeah i mean you know maybe give you'll get it to me john let me have my yes thing. It won't bother you. It's for you, all these songs. No, it's for you. It's for you guys at home, for the best of you guys. Here's what we can swear. If we end up doing the next one, leather? Oh, we'll be in leather. Latex? Latex, PVC, whatever whatever gets the job done. What's PVC? Is it latex? Uh, you know, it's another, that's what her, according to the comments, her costume oh. was made of PVC, and she said it was absolutely like the most comfortable thing to perform in. Seriously? 
Yes, that's what the comment said. That it was comfortable? Yeah, because I guess PVC is like it has that leather look, but it's like flexible and lightweight. So, you Okay. Know, uh, okay, I, costume designers come through. Let's go. You know, Comfort matters. Because part of me sees a suit like that. And I'm like, God, you must be like sticking and sweating and all sorts of stuff, but apparently not. All right. Well, if you want to see us in that, then make sure you like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Thank you so much for being a reject, and we will see you... After after a patron shout out? Next time after a patron shout out. Yeah. That's what I was hoping you would say. Always. It's always time for a patron shout out. Now, recently, I, ha they, I haven't been doing any patron shout outs. I mean, if you don't want to do it, we don't have to I do it. I always want to do it. I want to shout out the sexiest of the sexies. Fine. Pick one then. Jeez. You can just do the whole thing. You know who is sexy? Who? Lex. Lex is. Sex. E. Yes. Uh, you, you can't just say that he's, you know, like you got to finish it. So we, well, maybe we'll call Lex Lexi. It's like a sure, combo. Sure, sure. Uh, she hasn't told me not to. So. No. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay, Lex, you rock. Yeah. Because Lex is the bex of the hex and no hex for Lex because Lex is sexy. True that. Yeah. And you can't deny it. Nah. Nobody would. Getting getting fit sticks. Yeah, <laughs> for sure. You're getting sticks. Um, and that's what's next. What's next? <laughs> yeah. Hey, hey. And uh, stay pledged. Stay plexed. Stay, don't be perplexed. Just stay pledged. <laughs> Not many words end in X, which makes Lex unique mm -hmm. and doper. Yeah. I also, I'm rocks. I have an X in my name. I know that having an X means that you are the the you've got the X factor, and you're extreme. Oh, and you're you extra. Go. Oh, hey. Those are all. And you're one. extraordinary. Oh, and you're extraordinary. You're so extraordinary. You may jaw drop. As I destroy <laughs> the the computer here. <laughs> what did it type? Nothing actually. It just created another. Uh, notch on the patrons to shout out. Lex is so dope that he created all another line. That's right. And Just for you. We're going to shout you out twice this month. Thrice even. Yep. That's the Who plan. knows? Okay. Thank you for being a super sexy reject. We appreciate you. you, Lex. And thank you to everybody else. Okay. Later. Woo.